Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today it will be the Book of Esther, Chapter 7. So the king and Haman came to banquet with Esther the queen. And the king said again unto Esther, on the second day at the banquet of wine, what is thy petition, Queen Esther? And it shall be granted thee. And what is thy request? And it shall be performed even to the half of the kingdom. Then Esther the queen answered and said, If I have found favor in thy sight, O king, and if it please the king, let my life be given me at my petition, and my people at my request. For we are sold, I and my people, to be destroyed, to be slain and to perish, but if we had been sold for bondmen and bondwomen, I had held my tongue, although the enemy could not countervail the king's damage. Then the king Isaurus answered and said unto Esther the queen, Who is he, and where is he, that durst presume in his heart to do so? And Esther said, The adversary and enemy is this wicked Haman. Then Haman was afraid before the king and the queen. And the king, arising from the banquet of wine in his wrath, went into the palace garden, and Haman stood up to make request for his life to Esther the queen. For he saw that there was evil determined against him by the king. Then the king returned out of the palace garden into the, into the place of the banquet of wine, and Haman was fallen upon the bed whereon Esther was. Then said the king, Will he force the queen also before me in the house? As the word went out of the king's mouth, they covered Haman's face. And Harbona, one of the chamberlains, said before the king, Behold also the gallows fifty cubit high, which Haman had made for Mordecai, <laughs> who had spoken good for the king, standeth in the house of Haman. Then the king said, Hang him thereon. So they hanged Haman on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. Then was the king's wrath pacified. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. There is so much to talk about. First, let's get out of the way. I had been mentioning a few times like the Arya Stark revenge for the like Red Wedding kind of scenario. Not quite that. Not as bloody. Not as, you know, mur not as, you know, there weren't as many bodies left laid dead at the end of this. But there most certainly was justice delivered by way of a woman. In this case, not Arya of House Stark but Esther, a Jewish woman. And so what is very beautiful about this chapter here is that um, it's the way that it leads up to the, the finger being pointed at Haman at long last. And so we see here, um, uh, if, uh, from Esther 7, uh, 4 and on, for we are sold, I and my people, to be destroyed, to be slain and to perish. But if we had been sold for bondmen and bondwomen, I'd held my tongue. Although the enemy could not countervail the king's damage. Then the king, Ahasuerus, answered and said unto Esther the queen, Who is he and where is he that durst presume in his heart to do so? And Esther said, The adversary and enemy is this wicked Haman. Then Haman was afraid before the king and the queen. And so when we, by the time we get to Esther 7-6, we finally feel for the first time that justice will be done under the wicked Haman. Remember, this is the same Haman who written in Esther 3.10 is called the Jew's enemy. The same Haman who in Esther 3.6 it says, Wherefore Haman sought to destroy all the Jews that were throughout the whole kingdom of Ahasuerus, even the people of Mordecai. The same Haman. who wants, as it is written here, and the letters were sent by post into all the king's provinces to destroy, to kill, and to cause to perish all Jews, both young and old, little children and women in one day, even upon the 13th day of the 12th month. The same Haman, finally, it reads in Esther 7, 6, and you can't make this up, then Haman was afraid before the king and the queen. And that is powerful. And again, who is the chief architect behind this it is a woman esther she is the chief architect 
behind this. And that's what's so beautiful about um, the Bible is the, the, you know, the variety of stories we get and the way that Esther is able to show the king and explain her perspective that it is Haman who is wrong here for his persecution of the Jews. Now, um, the, the next area, the next area that is absolutely first class is, um, you know, as, as we know in, um, in the book of, uh, I, I forget if, if this is definitely in the book of Matthew. And you'll see the point I am going to make in just one second here. Here, in Matthew 26, 51, And behold, one of them which were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priests and smote off his ear. Then said Jesus unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Again, one more time. Then Jesus said unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Now, what do we see here that happens to Haman at the end of Esther 7? So here we go. And Harbana, one of the chamberlains, said before the king, Behold also the gallows, 50 cubits high, which Haman had made for Mordecai who had spoken good for the king, standeth in the house of Haman. Then the king said, Hang him thereon. So they hanged Haman on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. Then was the king's wrath pacified. And what's so beautiful to me about it is that um, Haman the whole time has been like, Oh, I'm going to get Mordecai hung on this gallow. He's like, you know, you know constructing the gallows and everything like that. Um, so, of course, in the uh, in Esther 5, uh, 14, it reads, Then said Zeresh, his wife, and all his friends unto him, Let a gallows be made of fifty cubits high, and tomorrow speak thou unto the king, that Mordecai may be hanged thereon. Then go thou in merrily with the king unto the banquet. And the thing pleased Haman, and he caused the gallows to be made. And now we get that idea at long last. We get that idea, the justice of it. The, <laughs> the, the biblical truth of it. Jesus says, All those who live by the sword die by it. Haman, the gallow constructor who wants to hang Mordecai, how else should he die than on, upon his own gallow? Very, very powerful stuff. And um, I think that that's just, that's just uh, so beautiful um, because of the fact that um, Haman lived by the sword, ultimately he died by it. And of course, credit to Esther, credit to Mordecai, but more than anything, credit to God. And credit to those people for continuing to have faith in their God. And when one of the most powerful passages, I think, from the Bible is when the great King David seeks to census the people after a victory, maybe multiple victories, but he, he goes and he says to one of his men, go census the people that they may understand the, the numbers they have. And the Lord is wroth with David because the idea being, don't turn to the, the numbers you have to achieve victory. It's not that the soldiers don't fight. The Lord is saying, turn to the Lord your God. And he will. One thing I often say is, victory is not achieved by strength of arms, but by the Lord my God. That is who achieves victory ultimately, and to God be the glory. And um, I just think that it's so beautiful because, um, like the Lord even tells that to David, you know, one of his, his greatest men. He tells that to David. And... Uh, these people here, they, they went to the Lord their God, and they believed in Jehovah. And ultimately, like through the things like fasting, the other pious behaviors they exemplify, um, and ultimately, you know, Esther asks 
you know, Ahasuerus, that it should that Haman should pay for this, and uh, he does. And I'll go ahead there and end the uh, daily diary video there for today, and transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's daily diary video. Since yesterday's daily diary video, I worked my software developer job, and I created this daily diary video for five four twenty three. And with no further achievements since yesterday's daily diary video, I want to say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Like to be with you all. Take care, and thanks again.